Hey guys, guess where I am? I'm in an airport, just getting ready to go to Malta with my woman. And the video that I'm just gonna record right now is gonna be about building true masculinity within yourself. And guys always have this question of, how can I go from a guy that's really nice, or how can I go from a guy who's never been a masculine man to becoming that? And I'm just, I'm just here to give you just a few things that's gonna be able to help you be able to go towards that track of just embodying masculinity. Much like I did in one of my other videos, um, the first two things I'm gonna talk about in this video, I'm gonna record here, then I gotta go board my flight, and I'm gonna record the rest of it in Malta, a beautiful island in the Mediterranean Sea. So here we go. I would say building masculinity literally comes from stillness itself. And people go, okay, how do I get in touch with stillness? How can I be a person that knows what stillness is? Stillness is always there whether you know about it or not. And this is the beautiful thing about stillness is that you can settle into it, but you can never chase it. Because guys will go, okay, how do I get there? And it's not about getting there, it is a stopping and allowing. It is being able to, of course, as I always say, be fixated on your breath. Your breath is the determining factor of how still you are. Presence. Stillness is presence. Being able to be still inside. Being able to really just clear off space inside of yourself for something to move through you. And a lot of the clutter that guys feel when they walk up to women literally comes from the fact that they just don't have any practices to be able to get them to come embodied, to become embodied. And becoming embodied is really about you being able to do those things that are a requirement for you to get in touch with what's inside. And what's inside is nothingness. What's out here is nothingness. Stillness pervades all and allow it to pervade yourself. So as you're there and you're in front of a woman or as you're walking around throughout the day, allow yourself to be completely still within. Remain present to the feminine at large all the time. Everything that's happening around you, just remain present to the senses that you smell. Through your senses, so you're smelling, you're tasting, you, what you see. Just remain the observer at all times. And of course, the sensation that you're having inside, just always remain the observer moment to moment. Now, this is something that can't be perfected, I would say. Some people call it enlightenment when you can just live as stillness itself or just live as love. But as a, just a foundation of being able to just get in touch with stillness and being able to settle into stillness, allow yourself to just stop and completely slow down inside. Come to physical stillness itself. Really become still within yourself because when you become still within yourself, you're able to settle into the stillness that's already there. Because the stillness inside of you and the stillness that's always there is one. There's no separation. The stillness that pervades everybody and everything is always operating through you whether you know about it or not. So when you're saying to yourself, you know, okay, this stillness thing doesn't make sense to me, it does. It's just that you're not used to settling into it. In any atmosphere that you go into, there's always this underneath to the atmosphere. And the atmosphere it has a bustling and, a, and, a, and people going everywhere and you know, maybe it's just a park where things are quiet. So in the park, it'll be easier for you to hit stillness. But what about when you're going through a busy streets? When you're going through the busy streets, or you have a busy lifestyle, you're in an environment where everything is busy. What do you, what do, you do in these places to be able to come to stillness? Consciously still yourself. Become physically still. Get in your body. Allow your awareness to drop from, to come from up here to drop way down to your feet because as your awareness leaves from up here and comes down, everything now becomes clear. It becomes truth. Absolute what is. And this is what every guy wants to get in touch with. Because if you're a man who wants to get in touch with your more masculine, that means that you already have a masculine core. And what that means is that you're already identified with stillness itself, even stronger than a woman is because you are in your core identified with a masculine. And the masculine is in itself stillness. So if you want to be able to get in touch with your masculinity, you must get in touch with stillness. How do I get in touch with stillness? Through my breath. 
Your breath is the aid, is the fucking anchor to you being able to come into this moment fully. And it took me, it took me some years. I started at 19. And when I started at 19, the thing that really got me sold on meditation and stillness is just noticing that when all this stopped, everything out here became different. Everything. Because my mind is not attaching it to things. My mind is just, is just being able to slow down and be space. And as a space there, I'm able to see clearly. Do you see that? When there's nothing cluttered here, you can see clearly. When there's nothing cluttered here, you can feel fully. When there's nothing cluttered here, you can project clearly. That's why being able to be fully embodied and spacious inside allows you to be able to really come into stillness. And when I was 19 and I was starting this out, I was saying to myself, okay, right now, I feel like I'm just always thinking, I feel very reactive. Why won't I just be able to just do what I see other people do uh, that's out there? The people I look up to, they always talk about meditation. They always talk about, okay, when you do this, you allow yourself to become present. And this present thing, it sounds good to me, but how can I be somebody that's present? And I started doing my research. And book after book, they were talking about stillness. Well, not stillness, they were mainly talking about meditation, being mindful, and then I got in touch with Eckhart Tolle, his book, The Power of Now. That book definitely talks about stillness. It talks about being one with everything. It talks about the pain body. It talks about the three modalities that you live into. That was like my anchor coming into understanding what it means to be still inside. Then I read the book called Stillness Speaks by Eckhart, Eckhart Tolle, which is an amazing book. Uh, I, I recommend that book to any guy that's watching this who really want to understand stillness. It's Stillness Speaks by Eckhart Tolle. It's a fucking amazing book. So these are like the groundwork books, and then after that I just started going into practices. And over my practices that I went into, I noticed that the most beautiful thing about the five year period that I've been going through is that I started to figure out what is best for me. I mean, I went to the a Vipassana retreat, a retreat, that was amazing. Um, I, I've done uh, spiritual work as far as uh, meditations that involve visualizations. I've done uh, feeling work where you can just feel into whatever it is. I've done it where you just focus on your breath, uh, where you're controlling your breath. I've done uh, many different types of meditations and now my meditation that I do is completely just sitting in the core and allowing myself to just sit with what's ever there. I'm noticing the mind processes and I'm allowing it to go away. I'm noticing the heart processes and I'm allowing it to just sink and sink and sink so I can feel into it. And I'm allowing the process of what's happening beneath me to just be there. And as it's there, it's completely changing my life. And I noticed that over my five year time, because I've been meditating uh, for five years straight, uh, more hard in the last, t well, last two years, but it's been fucking amazing, man. It has allowed me to come into stillness much, much better the meditative practice. So stillness is the foundation. And being able to have stillness, you will be able to come into what masculinity truly is, which is stillness itself. And when you can become still inside, you start to draw the feminine to you. And this is what's beautiful. When you're in front of a woman and you're still inside, you draw the most feminine part out of, out of her to the surface. And once you draw it to the surface and you remain unreactive and just still, then more starts to come in more and more. So that's when a woman goes into her deepest bliss of opening and opening and opening because you're still and you have a lot of depth to that stillness. The next thing that I want you guys to know about is clarity of intention. Being able to project your desire clearly being able to move toward that thing you want, whatever goal, whatever purpose you have, moment to moment in a clear way. And when you move towards anything in a clear way, that clarity comes from the stillness that we just talked about before. Now as you space yourself inside, now something can move through with clear direction. And that's what you call clarity of intention. Being able to align yourself with whatever desire you have, projecting that clearly and cutting through the bullshit that may arise in that process. True masculinity really comes from being able to space yourself inside and then move towards the thing that you want moment to moment. And that's clearly doing that, which is a very fucking difficult thing to do because when you're moving towards something very, very fucking clear, you start to shake shit up. You start to make people move out of your way. You start to uh, press on others. You start to get other people not liking you. You also get people who love you and want to be around you, who want 
to align with you with your intention. People who don't want to align with you. Your clarity of your intention has a certain charge to it that's so strong that most people will never understand the, uh, the content of it. They'll never understand what it feels like because it's such a powerful thing. When guys learn how to project their intent clearly or move towards the thing that they want clearly, their desire, fuck man, they start to become an influential person. You become influential when you are clear and what it is that you want and you move towards that. You, oh my God, you, come, you become so influential because last year I was standing on the bridge and I, have tears, I had tears in my eyes and I was crying and I was thinking to myself like, okay, why is it that I'm meeting women and everybody, they're just not seeing me as a good man? Well, not, it wasn't everybody, but it was some women I would talk to. And I'll be like, I know that I'm a good man and when I meet them, why is it that some women just don't see that? Because it was, it was at the time where I was dealing with certain women and thing, things weren't going that good. And I was saying to myself, what is it about me? And what it was that I kept attracting the evidence into my experience that women uh, do not respect all the things that I have to bring to the table. Because I kept looking for that because I was saying, why is that there? And the evidence kept showing up like, this is why it's there. This is why it's there. This is why it's there. And I was like, all right, well, I don't want that anymore. And it was such a, a breakthrough for me to be able to go, no, I am a good man, whether or not the girl notices or not. I am a good man, I am. And the fact that I know that, I'm not gonna go out there and try to make women see that. Because in the trying, women will know that you're trying to do something. And in the trying, she goes, okay, there's some impressing going here, on here. There's a guy that's in front of me, and he's trying to show me something. And in this act of trying, I'm not really seeing who he is because he's trying to project something to me. And she might not consciously go through this process, but she will be able to unconsciously feel that. She'll feel the energy of a man trying, and in that she goes, okay, uh, this is not who he really is. I don't want to have any part of this because I know what it's like to be in front, of a mind, uh, in front of a guy who's trying to impress me, a guy who's trying to do this or trying to be like this, or who he turns out to be like this, or he says he's like this, and that's very confusing for a woman. So when I let it go, I was like, all right, I'm just going to be able to go out there and I'm going to clearly project and clearly move towards the thing that I want. I'm going to get women into my life who can aid me in my lifestyle because I know that's what I want. I don't want women who don't aid me in my lifestyle. I want women who are uh, positive, who I feel good around. My main thing is that if I feel good around a woman, then she's right for me. So my clarity of intention was, okay, I'm just going to move towards the thing that I want, which is bringing women into my life who fit my lifestyle. And I know that anybody along the way who makes me feel good and I can be around them and genuinely feel good about what's happening between us, she is adequate for my lifestyle. She is. Because I'm clearly going towards that thing that I want, which is I want a lifestyle that is not, this is last year, I want a lifestyle where I can travel the world and I can have many women in many different cities that I have connections with. And that was, that was the thing that I wanted last year. And it came to fruition. And it came to fruition mainly when I started aligning myself with the thing that I really wanted. And that's the part when I spaced out and I go, this is the thing that I really want. I'm gonna to move towards that. And any woman that comes along with, with that uh, clarity, of, with that intention, she'll be perfect, she will. Because women can only align with you and really go along with you in a beneficial way when you clearly know what you want. If a guy's like, okay, I clearly want to get into a relationship, he won't be out there trying to just get women who, who want to be fleeting and who don't have certain qualities that he will love. Just like a man who would want a uh, one-night stand life, he wouldn't be out there trying to promise women things that he know that he can't uphold. So as a man who is able to be clear in his intent, you'll start to notice that your influence and your power and everything about you starts to just completely go up. And I notice that every single time that I'm being clear in my intent, I just start to just shift everything around me. Even when I'm talking to the person in the line. If I'm talking to a person at the cash register, I notice that when I'm being completely clear with the person, they start to feel like, holy shit, it's almost like a sting. Because when somebody's really just cutting through with the thing that they want to say, you feel the power of it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's I love you. I don't care if it's I hate you. I don't care if it's you're nice. Whatever it may be, if they're saying it from a really clear place that's genuine and uh, projected from the desire of whatever they feel, whether it's appreciation, sexuality, whether it may be curiosity, whether it be playfulness, it will be received well. 
And that's what's amazing about kids. If you ever see kids, they are just aligned with their desires all the time. They're just like, I want to do this, and I want to do this. And, and they're honest, and it's, it's like, holy shit, it's just cutting every single time. And it has a lot of influence because the kid is just moving from what's inside. And that's why I always tell guys on workshop, breathe as if you're a kid because from your datium, that is where your consciousness lives. Your consciousness is not up here. This is your mind. You don't need your mind ever unless you're doing deep thinking or you're trying to solve a problem. There's no reason for you not to be in your consciousness. And being able to have abdominal breathing, this is the same way you were when you were a kid. And being able to breathe from this place, you locked in with your desire more. And from locking in with your desire, you're able to be able to, you're able to, to clearly put it out. The desire that you have. And that's what's amazing about clarity of intent. And I hear other guys out there talk about it, and it's just the way that I've come into it. So you guys go with it whatever direction you want, but I'm telling you right now, clarity of intention, projecting your desire, being able to go for it toward that thing you want clearly will make a massive difference in your results of women. Not just in your life, but just on your results of women. So be a person that's not always uh, thinking about, okay, how can I just use this thing that Tony's given me only for women, but how can I start to go out there and just use it all the time? Use it when you're talking to the person behind the cash register. Use it when you're talking to your mom. Use it when you're talking to your friend. Or use it when you're talking to women. Because once you, be, once you make it a part of your life, then it just becomes a thing for you to be clear when you talk to others. But clear when you have something that you need to do. And the moment that you are able to go out there and just clearly do it all the time, when it comes to seduction and when it comes to pickup, it makes it that much easier. So I'm off because my baby's telling me time. That means that I gotta, we gotta go fucking board the flight. Um, I see you guys when I arrive in Malta. I'm out. I didn't die on the way, and I came with my baby. Uh, baby, say hello. Hello. Yes. She's behind the camera, and she's going to help me talk to you guys about integrity. Actually, she's not going to help me. I'm just going to talk about it. Integrity. This is the third thing that I think that you guys should take into account when you're trying to learn what true masculinity is. Integrity really is standing by your truth. When you're able to stand by what you believe in, people respect you. If you notice people who walk into a room and people automatically notice that they have an aura, they automatically know that this person has a presence about them, it's probably because more than likely every single time that they have certain beliefs or certain things that they stand by and it just radiates from them. There's a certain strength to your character that begins to build when you stand by certain things. I don't care what it is. Stand by things that you believe that's true for you. Anything that you would feel that is a truth for you specifically, stand by that. And how do you know? How do I come to be a person that knows what I stand by? What's real for me? What is true for me? It requires you looking at yourself and going, okay, what is something that I accept? What is something that I don't accept from all people? What is something that I truly believe in? What do I feel that this, what do I feel is a way to, to talk to women? What do I feel? Because I can tell you right now that you should go up and you should be honest like this. But you may not feel like that. I want you to stand by what's true for you because I'm not here to make you into me. I'm here to allow you to be more of you. And for you to be more of you, it requires you being aligned. And when a man is aligned within himself, he can begin to attract people who love him for who he is, who he really is. A man that's aligned in himself is a man that's in integrity. He's aligned with things that he believes in. And as he are, is moving through the world with these beliefs about ways of being, about how he should treat women, about how he should treat others, then he starts to get resistance from that. And through that resistance, he builds strength. You build strength when you get resistance for aligning with who you are. You don't get strength from aligning with something that someone else told you or something you think is something and then you're going out there and thinking that you, you're a strong person because what's going to happen is that 
something or someone is gonna come in and they're going to challenge you in a way that you've never been challenged and you're going to fold on the inside. You're gonna feel like you're not standing on, on solid ground. And a person who's standing on solid ground most of his life, because you know, if you're a person who's committed to growing, you'll never truly ever be on true solid ground forever. But a person that's more on solid ground and that's more resilient within, he's a person who is aligned with things that are true for him. I believe in integrity so much because it's one of the things that I believe that has changed my entire life. I used to be a very, very fickle man. I used to be a man that used to always change my mind. I used to be a man that when it came to uh, standing up for what I believe in, I never really did it. I did it to a certain extent, but I didn't do it, I didn't do it fully because I didn't, I didn't want the resistance. There's, I knew that there was going to be resistance from my family, from uh, the people I used to be in church with, from women from my friends. I knew there was just gonna be resistance to these things that I believe in. But over time, I started to see that I just wasn't truly happy. And, uh, and with, with uh, James and, and Liam and Travel Bomb and Shay, we all have different ways of being and they don't agree with some of the ways that I, I uh, go. And I don't agree with some of the ways that they go, but we all love each other and we're all still together. And I love them for them and they love me for me. Now also with this, they could just go fuck off, I don't believe in that, and that would be fine with me as well. And I could do the same thing with them and they'll be fine. So when you are really aligned with yourself, you will start to attract people to you who love you for you because they can see that, okay, this is who he is. He's aligned with who he is. I don't need to try to press on him because without me even saying anything, I feel like I have to do things in his presence. And that just comes from the respect you have for yourself and what you believe in and how it radiates from you. One of the videos that I was gonna make that I ever made was being able to make others do things for you or do things around you without you have ever having to say anything. And this comes from you just having a way of you being aligned in your truth and others just feeling that from you and feeling the strength from you and just and just being able to adjust. Because you'll either get two things, people to, who adjust or people who don't adjust. And the people who don't adjust, you don't need them because they don't wanna be in your life anyway. But the people who do adjust, that means they care enough to do it. Standing by what you believe in, standing by what's true for you, this is where you can live in integrity. Live for the things that are true for you. When I'm speaking to women, what's true for me is, okay, I know that if this girl right here, if I feel good around her, I know I'll give her a chance. But also, what I also know is that I don't like girls who talk bad about others. I don't like girls who are mean to others. I don't like girls who are closed off and they're not open-minded to certain things. I hate girls who are racist. <laughs> and that's black, that's black as well. Um, so it's many different things that come, that come with this, but these are the things that I absolutely know for sure that a girl would just cut her out because I just don't stand by these things. Whether it be a woman or whether it be my friends, my family, or just anybody else, I don't stand by that. But what I do stand by is people who treat others with respect. People who treat others nicely. People who are sweet to others. People who are generous. People who also are aligned within themselves. People who have integrity. I, these are the things that I absolutely respect. So if you're a man who wants to really be able to come into masculinity and be able to just see, okay, what is the role of being my strongest, most embodied masculine self? Because I don't want to say strongest self, but I want to say masculine self because masculine energy could be for a woman or a man. But of course, a man who has a masculine core, he's more identified with it so he can seep into it easier. The three things that I want you to do to be able to do this is the first thing, understand stillness. Stillness is being able to settle into what's already there. What's already there is non-changing. The masculine is non-changing. Settle as I'm doing now. The next thing is clarity of intention because in that settled space you start to come, become still inside and from there you can uh, project the desire clearly and move towards that. And the third thing is integrity. Standing by what's true for you. And if it's absurd, if it's something you believe other people might not like, what is it for you? And as long as it's true for you, you'll start to align people who love that about you. And other people who don't, let them go. Hope you guys took a lot from this video. And uh, it's been a great trip here. 
Yeah, you know, I've never been to Malta. It's an amazing fucking place. I would say anybody who wants to come, you should come. <sighs> this is Sony Solo from the Natural Lifestyles. I have to get back to my baby. Actually, baby, come here. Give me some love. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I love this girl so much. And I speak to you guys in the next video. I'm doing a workshop in October the 13th to the 16th. If you guys want to sign up, just go to the Natural Lifestyles. Go to the contact page and put in an inquiry. Until again.